So this is a question that comes up a lot in hamster owners. Um, and that is, can you own a hamster if you own any other type of pet, like a cat, a dog, a bird, things like that? Um, and I am going to be answering that. So um, when it comes to hamsters, um, hamsters can adapt to the environment that they are living in. So if you have a very loud dog or a bird like a parrot that makes a lot of noise, your hamster will adapt to that and get used to it and they will think of it as normal. So um, if your dog is really loud and is barking all the time, um, don't worry about it scaring your hamster. It may startle them the first week or two that you bring them home, but you can definitely still own a hamster if you own a dog that is loud because they will get used to it and they will think of it as normal. And some people are worried that if they have cats, they will be able to get to their hamster. A good way to prevent this is to have a lid for your cage. If you have um, any other types of pets, no matter what it is, please have a lid for your hamster's cage. Even if you don't have any pets, it's a good idea to have a lid for your hamster's cage. Um, especially if you have cats or dogs, you don't want them to be able to get to your hamster. So um, you're, you should have a lid that is pet proof. Another question is, should I make my uh, like animals meet each other? Should my hamster meet my dog or my cat or whatever? And um, the answer is no, you should never scare your hamster like that. Um, scaring, this will scare your hamster and cause them a lot of stress. And it's not worth it because your other animal isn't going to enjoy uh, the hamster and they're not going to um, do anything about it. So um, it's really just unnecessary stress for your hamster to let them meet your other pets. It doesn't matter how nice your dog is, it doesn't matter how nice your cat is, you shouldn't um, put all that stress on your hamster for no reason. If you are really worried about your pet getting to your hamster and hurting them, then please do not get a hamster. If you feel like it's safe for your hamster, then that's okay. But if you are unsure or absolutely no, then please do not get a hamster. If you already have pets and they are a lot of work and you really want a hamster but you don't know if you can care for them with your other pets, then please don't get a hamster unless you are 100% sure that you will be able to care for their uh, care for their needs. If you already have a bunch of other pets that take up a lot of work and are sort of stressing you out, please do not go get another pet because hamsters need a lot of care. They need more care than most people think. So please don't get a hamster unless you can properly care for them. And because um, it's not fair to the hamster if you get a hamster and then you can't care for it so you give them give it to a rescue or put them up on Kijiji or something like that. Um, it's not fair to the hamster to go through all that stress. If it is absolutely necessary to bring them to a rescue since like um, you're moving or something, then that is okay, it's not your fault. But please do not get a hamster if you already know beforehand that you might not be able to care for them. This video is a little bit of a shorter video, but I really wanted to uh, tell you guys, please do not bring, um, introduce your, pe your hamster to your other pets. That was the main point of this video. Um, it is very stressful for the hamster and it's unnecessary. Um, and yeah, please have a lid on your cage if, for your pets to not be able to get to your hamster. And um, please only care for a hamster if you uh, are 100% sure that you'll be able to care for them for their whole life. So um, yeah, that wraps up today's video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.